This is Courtney. So in 2018, we were living in like a neighborhood in the suburbs of Cincinnati, but of North Kentucky actually. And we just knew that city life was not for us. We always wanted to live in the country, but as a young married couple, buying land with no credit or cash take up is virtually impossible. So it was in, 2019, in 2018, actually, I think, we had been saving for five years and we bought the 60 acres where we live now. So that same year, we moved out here to the farm and we lived here for a year while we built our old own farmhouse. We lived in our camper. It was kind of crazy. I mean, I can't really take any credit because James did it all, but it was a really neat experience. So we bought the sawmill about two and a half years ago now, and uh, we have loved it. I've, I've always wanted a sawmill. And um, several years ago, before we bought this one, we done re we did research, you know, online, um, just reading articles. And I've always known that I wanted the Wood the Mills product. You know, I compared them to all of the uh, kind of consumer-rated products here that's offered in the United States. And uh, hands down, uh, Wood the Mills was the best. So down here in Kentucky, where we live specifically, we have tons and tons of cedar trees. Uh, so cedar trees are pretty easily, they, they cut up uh, fairly nice. So um, you don't have to have anything incredibly powerful. Um, so we kind of wanted the mid-range type um, sawmill, but we also have oak trees here. And the oak trees are obviously a lot harder. You need a lot of more power. Um, we bought the sawmill mainly to cut up the cedars just because of how much we have, but we knew that we would end up cutting up other hardwoods such as the, uh, the oak trees. Technically, our very first project that we did, and it was just to kind of learn the um, sawmill and get acquainted with it, was an actual playset for our kids. Yeah. So we got a playset in the backyard here. I think it took a total of like maybe four uh, eastern red cedar trees, and uh, they got a nice playset out back here. And the sawmill did excellent, and uh, cedar is very good, uh, kind of weather resistant, rot resistant type of wood, so it, it's perfect for the playset. Yeah, and for me, when we built that playset, like, quite honestly, that justified the cost of the sawmill within the first month that we had it because we built the playset right away. And to buy a playset similar to the one that we built, you're looking at three to $4,000, which is almost the cost of the sawmill. So it really justified buying the sawmill because we were honestly able to pay for it pretty much within a month by saving that money. Saved so much money. Uh, milling up lumber for the pole barn. We virtually built the entire pole barn out of um, oak on the property. So we, we were, uh, we don't typically cut down our oaks unless they, for some reason, fall on their own, um, just because we like the oaks here on the property. But we're about to build a huge pond, and uh, we decided to take some oaks down. We started milling them up into two by six lumbers um, or wood, and uh, we used that predominantly to build the pole barn. And it worked out excellent. Uh, oak is such a hard you know, dense wood, very strong, and the sawmill went through, you know, no problem. I mean, I think we cut, you know, three to 400, um, like two, two by six by 10 foot boards. Yeah, because our pole barn is 40 by 60. We started building that in February of this year and finished, what, May? Yeah, probably in May. Yeah. Yeah. And we were able to build it fast because throughout the winter, we actually cut down the trees and cut up all the lumber. So when we were ready to start building early this spring, we had all the lumber there and we just put it up and it was awesome it was so nice and i i don't even know how much that much oak lumber would cost for that barn i mean you're talking over ten thousand easy probably because oak is really expensive so we saved so much money by cutting our own lumber for that i remember as soon as the mill came he's like oh my god babe look at the metal that this thing came in i can use all of this because he welds also yep. so i can weld this into something a really nice workbench probably so we did and it turned out great yeah. i love it we do that kind of stuff around here all the time. We try to make the most of, of anything, you know, any kind of product that we get, you know, whether it be through the crate, through a pallet, you know. Um, so I just thought I need some workbenches. This is a solid frame, um, great angle iron on it, and the steel straps on it. So we ended up having, we had some, an ash tree that had fallen, and I believe I milled that up and put it on the top and had a great uh, workbench.
So, but uh, one thing that we really need to get done, and I'm hoping for next year, there's going to be two projects, two big projects that we're going to put on YouTube, is uh, we're going to build a new chicken coop out of eastern red cedar. Um, the chicken coop that we're using right now was the old stripping room for the tobacco uh, barn. So we want to build a new chicken coop, and I want to make it super nice. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have a way to be able to grab and get the eggs um, from the side of the coop, and it's going to work out great. And the other really big project is we're very big hunters here on our property. So um, I want to build a tower shooting house or hunting house. And we're going to build that also out of uh, eastern red cedar. And we're going to be using the HM-126 sawmill for the entire project. A lot in our basement, which is Stunning. We spent the last two winters finishing our basement. Well, I say we, I should say James, because he's always the mastermind behind the building stuff. But we did. We cut a lot of lumber. He built these beautiful built-ins under our projector screen movie theater TV. And the top of them is, is it red oak? Yeah, that's red oak. Oh, it's stunning. It's two-inch thick red oak boards that stretch the length of, what, a 12-foot? Oh, yeah, big. 12-foot built-in. It's beautiful. And then he built our bathroom vanity. A lot of the stuff in our basement is built from the old barn side, and we took off our old sawmill or our, <laughs> our old barn when we recited it and then a lot of it is also fresh lumber that we cut from our sawmill it's a combination and the combination of the fresh lumber with the old lumber off the tobacco barn is just beautiful honestly it's better than we would imagined there was one day when i was driving home from church this was before we bought the prop actually i'm sorry it was after we bought our property so this would have been in 2018 and i told james i said i just can't live in this neighborhood anymore i can't do it and I told him, I said, I don't care if we have to live in a tent to live on our farm. I want to get to the farm. So that's when we really started pushing to get here. And as soon as our house was done, because we, of course, had to devote every second of our free time into building the farmhouse, the second it was done, we started homesteading. That's when we bought the sawmill. That's when I really started to get into gardening. I started getting into canning. And for us, it's just so therapeutic. Living at the old house, we were stressed, we were anxious, but here there's so much freedom. We're happy, our kids are happy, we can live self-sufficiently. We save so much money at the grocery store by growing most of our own food and canning it or freezing it, and by hunting and harvesting most of our meat here with turkey and deer. It's just, it's an amazing experience. I think our kids are enjoying the lifestyle and appreciating ways to live that most kids do not get the opportunity to experience. And even living in the camper for a year here while we were building the house was not a bad experience. Because we were in such a small camper, we weren't in it much. The kids were outside all day, every day. And I think that type of lifestyle for kids is just so wonderful and therapeutic and uplifting. So it's just been a great experience for us. And I would do it over again a thousand times if given the opportunity. My wife is from Ohio. And uh, her grandparents are from Ohio. Um, they have since passed, but we started the YouTube channel um, kind of at the beginning of the build for our house uh, because we wanted an easy way for them to kind of follow us um, on during the build and kind of what we're up to, what we're doing. And uh, they could get on the computer, get on their TV, and they could pull us up and they could watch and see exactly what we're doing. We also kind of wanted to help out others who were possibly wanting to build a house because me and her were so young it was really hard to find good resources on how to be a general contractor kind of how to go about starting to build a house you know you got permits you got zoning you got uh, you know have to get a hold of all these contractors so it, it can be overwhelming and we wanted to be able to help people out with that as well when we were documenting it for our family to watch the videos i told james i said at some point in time, somebody could Google search for the same information that we were looking for, and I would like our resources to be there. So we started after the first couple of videos, when he would be doing stuff, I would say, okay, now explain what you're doing and why you're doing that. So they also became kind of educational content. We really enjoy the opportunities that have come from it and all of the other really nice, especially young couples like us that are looking to live self-sufficiently and live off the land and homestead. And it's just been a really nice experience. love Woodland Mill since even before we got the sawmill. You guys have a wonderful product and a great company, so we're very proud to be a part of it.